Hey, I'm on to you. I know what you're doing. You pushed that button because you came here looking for a way to accelerate your results. You want to dramatically decrease the amount of time it takes in order to achieve your goals. You want to leap to all buildings in a single bound, and you want to experience growth faster than a speeding bullet. You don't really care about laying the groundwork, and you certainly don't want a long speech on the fundamentals. You just want to learn how to achieve your goals ridiculously fast. And I get it. Accelerating your growth is super important, and I'm not going to say that it is not. I just want you to do yourself a favor. Slow down for a minute. Listen to everything that I have to say, and then follow my lead. As you're about to get a life-changing insight, as in, you're about to get the education that you should have gotten much earlier in life. So let's begin with what it means to be a growth hacker. To a growth hacker is a person whose true north is growth. A growth hacker knows that when it comes to growth, that everything counts. Every decision that a growth hacker makes is motivated by growth. Every strategy, every tactic, and every initiative is attempted in the hopes of growing. Every metric, every measurement, and feedback loop is used for navigating onward and upward. Growth is the alpha and the omega. It's the focal point. It's the sun that a growth hacker revolves around. Of course, everyone cares about growth, but not to the extent as a true growth hacker. Growth hacking is a serious strategy for serious people who want serious results fast. And the power of a growth hacker is in their obsessive focus on a singular goal. They think of growth and nothing but growth 24-7. By ignoring almost everything else, they can achieve that one goal that matters most to them. And this absolute focus on growth has given rise to a number of mindsets, methods, tools, and best practices that simply don't exist in most people's playbook. And as time passes, the chasm between true growth hackers and wannabes deepens. Now, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, what we need to do is we need to deconstruct and shift our focus onto the adverse questions. That is, why do most people in organizations settle for small, marginal, and incremental growth? Why are most people in organizations still operating on old, outdated beliefs and behaviors that produce little in the way of results? So as someone who's repeatedly, consistently, and quite routinely works with people and organizations who accelerate from standing starts to giant accomplishments, achieving goals fast, growth hacking, and driving exponential results, well, that is my reality. See, I long ago came to the understanding you cannot change your behavior nor can you experience exponential growth until and unless you change your beliefs. And that the most important element in your strategy to win the battle for your mind and your productivity is your own psychology. See, most of us operate with self-limiting beliefs that are false and only succeed in undermining growth and reinforcing the status quo. Now, I understand that your mindset for the moment may be flawed by doubt and skepticism. I really do get it. The idea of exponential growth, of making quantum leaps in your performance, of jumping from your present level of achievement to one that is several stages higher, is an alien idea for most people. The fact is you've not been trained to think like a growth hacker, and you may very well have definite reservations about the possibility that you can make such exponential improvement at all, much less in a greatly abbreviated time frame. However, I assure you that your doubts and your skepticism are rooted in mental limitation. Your doubts are not the product of accurate thinking, but I assure you they are the product of habitual thinking. See, growth hackers believe they have no legal, no logical or moral obligation or any justifiable reason to settle for small, marginal or incremental growth. See, growth hackers believe that the quickest way to the mountaintop is not by fighting their way through the pack, but it is to leapfrog over the pack by deploying superior execution strategies and having a single-minded focus on accelerated growth. And accelerated growth is what you really want, isn't it? So how do you do it? How do you accelerate your rate of success and experience exponential growth? How do you multiply your performance and achieve goals at a pace and a scale that in the past seemed impossible? How do you become a legitimate growth hacker? So I believe that you're going to work hard to achieve a goal that is your absolute right and your responsibility to find the fastest way to get the job done. See, in the end, there are three ways to hack your growth. No more, no less. But what are they? We'll say hello to the three Ps. Growth hacking strategy number one is what I call the pull strategy. The first, smartest, and easiest way to becoming a growth hacker 
is by becoming a magnet. By pulling people, opportunity, and results to you or your intended target at an accelerated rate. This is where you become the hunted by giving people legitimate reasons to come to you, to do business with you, to be associated with you, fall in love with you. You attract and magnetically pull people, opportunity, and results to you by having an impeccable reputation, by going the extra mile, by becoming remarkable, as well as by having a demonstrated track record of success. The pull strategy is one of romance, of seduction, enticement, and excitement. And this message is an example of the pull methodology. Let me explain. You are drawn to this message. You're pulled in by the headline. You're pulled down throughout the presentation because you were attracted to the very idea of growth hacking. I didn't have to go online to find you, but rather, you found this message. The growth hacking number two is the push strategy. Now, as the name implies, this is a bit more aggressive than pulling. See, instead of magnetically attracting and enticing people, opportunity, and results to you, you instead become the hunter and you push them north in the direction of your goals or your intended target. A solid push strategy is all about playing a strong, highly persuasive, and unrelenting offense. It's based on hustle and hard work, on dedication and discipline, on follow-up and follow-through, as well as commitment and consistency. You determine your true north, you develop an action plan, and then you hit the ground running each and every day, all day. And that leads us to growth hacking strategy number three, which is all about the process. So the third way to hack your growth and to fast track your goals is through the creation and the implementation of systems. A process or system or what some growth hackers refer to as a formula is a proven, repeatable execution process, which is intentionally designed to ring the bell by delivering highly repeatable results. It allows the growth hacker to play the game of multiplication while others really spend their lives playing addition. In short, a process is a force multiplier which allows you to enjoy maximum growth and efficiency with minimum time and effort. And the best growth hacking process incorporates superior push and pull strategies. Now, if you made it this far, and I've got to assume that you're eager to learn how to growth hack, so let me leave you with some sound advice. Growth hacking is both an attitude and a skill set that can be learned, studied, and mastered. However, just like getting to Carnegie Hall, it requires practice, practice, and more practice. And if you're ready to start practicing and learning what it takes to become a true growth hacker, it's best to learn from someone who growth hacks for a living. So I created the 100-day challenge to show you how to get more accomplished in 100 days than most people do over the course of 10 years. But from the moment you begin, you'll be challenged to think bigger, bolder, and far outside the box. You'll immediately begin to question why you're not currently experiencing 10x, 100x, or even 10,000x growth. You might ask, why is this an important step of the growth hacking process? Well, it's very simple. Because unless you begin to have these type of conversations, unless you learn the proper pull and push strategies, and unless you apply them in a systematic way, you'll never experience this kind of exponential growth. And it will be my honor to show you how.